Hello! Welcome back to Marwyn. So, yeah, <laughs> the close call last episode kind of opened my eyes, and I've decided I don't want to almost die again, believe it or not, in a hardcore series. Weird, right? Um, yeah, I don't want that to happen. So, this episode is going to be kind of dedicated on uh, making us less weak, because we just get hit too hard. Um, yeah, that, that's all. Uh, that being said, we are wearing freaking steel gear. Or, yeah, a lot of it is steel gear. We, we, it, 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 some of it's not, I guess, but still. Like, I want better armor. I'm not talking Daedric, but I, well, if I can get it, sure. Uh, but I don't want to go to areas where Daedric is because all the mobs there are very high level. So, um, and not going to do that. But, but, uh, there is something we can do. To, to further us in the game that I totally forgot about. actually had a very long think after almost dying, and I thought, hey, why don't we go to Mornhold? You know, why not? Um, so yeah, we, we're, we're gonna do that, I guess, or we're gonna try to anyway, at the speed of light. At the speed of light, that's much better. Oh <laughs> god, it's pathetic. We have 102 speed, and this is how fast I move. Ah, uh, Marwind. You never change, you never change. I'm thinking, uh, once I get enough money, like, once I do this, which, after this, money won't be an issue, um, I am going to en enchant, like, a lot of gear with, with speed, because, holy shit, <laughs> that's exactly what this series needs. Uh, and I've been giving it some thought. I kind of have, I kind of want to play Oblivion. After this, I might do a hardcore, a hardcore series on uh, Oblivion after I'm done with this. Uh, but for now, we are going to... Uh, it's not here. Crap. Okay, well, in that case, we have to travel this way. Uh, but... I've been hard. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's where uh, that we were supposed to be going. Um, I believe from Ebonheart, you can actually see Vivek, which means... Which means we can just walk along here, get on the land, and we'll probably see a sign that brings us to Ebonheart. Oh boy. Can I sleep on water? No, I can't. Damn. I was about to say, that'd be great. There's a Guar. Yeah, getting exquisite gear would be kind of difficult. Um, just because it's... I, I don't think there's much in the game. I, I Clothiers might sell it, but I doubt it. Because that seems like a really high-end item for them to sell. But maybe not. I don't know. Can I walk up this, please? Come on. Thank you. Thank you very much, game. Uh, by the way, I'm recording at 5,000 bit rate. So, in, in my frame rate is fucking fantastic for someone recording at that. Holy shit. Like, my god. Uh, the frames per second in the top left isn't there anymore, but it used to be. I wish it still was, because that would tell us a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's just this way. I'm actually going to sleep for 24 hours to get Adrenaline Rush back. So this doesn't take... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that block, though. All right. Let's sleep. Let's see, it's six. Let's try that long. Oh, okay, it's night again. Well, let's try this long. All right. All right. Holy shit. That tree... I thought that was like 700 cliff racers right there, and I was like, oh my god, no wonder why I lagged, but no, it's a tree. Jesus Christ, it scared the fuck out of me. Uh, I don't even think with our current state we could kill that many cliff racers. That is quite a few. Um, in Ebonheart, there's this dude. This is totally off subject, but I'm just going to start talking about it. There's this dude called... Uh, Gainier or something like that. Um, but the dude... Is this Ebonheart, by the way? Ebonheart, good. Okay. Let me actually talk to you. Ah, uh, Dark Brotherhood. Scum all of them. You better find yourself some help. Or write a will, or both. Wow, you're so fucking useful. Let me try putting that away. What the heck? They're not... Th these guards are supposed to tell me who to talk to. Hmm. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, but yeah. That guy's in Ebon Heart, and uh, you need to make sure you don't talk to him early on like this if you're, you know, playing 
without wanting to die. Because, um, Skyrim mission. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Argonian. That's not a landmass. So why is this called... Whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, damn it, which one of these is it? I've slept for 24 hours again, so this isn't totally painful. Um, but yeah, that the dude is fucking difficult, man. He has the highest luck in the game. Or so it's rumored. And, um... High luck, as the skill says, doo -doo, affects every action you do in a small way. It takes 60 levels to get this to 100. 60 levels, 60 fucking levels. That's insane. It's gonna take forever to get my luck to max, but I don't know. I mean, the thing is, we can do a lot to do it. You know, I, I can go crazy uh, <laughs> in order to um, in order to get to like level 80 or something. Which is what's required to have max stuff. Uh, there is a way, actually. It, it, you might be wondering, like I did. But um, if you were to, say, get your major skills and minor skills up to 100. Which, by the way, these eventually don't give you a full one point when you level them up. So that's something important. Uh, if you get all these to 100 and you can't level anymore, you can actually use a spell that drains you of that specific skill and train it up at a trainer. There's also another thing you can do. You can get a drain spell. I'm pretty sure this works. You can get a drain spell and, let's say, put your security at 1 and train it, and you'll be paying for what it would cost for level 1. Yes. All right, guys. We're looking for a weird-looking guard. Where are you? Hello, my shiny friend. Yes. Oh, yes. Dark Brotherhood. Perhaps you have been attacked. That's bad bins. I don't know. I want to know. Dark Brotherhood activity on here. The mainland. Transport to Mournhold. Well, that's what you'll need. Okay. Okay. Haha, <laughs> yes! Okay. Okay, so talk to Asin Rain. I, I totally butchered that name, but that's okay. Because we're going to Mournhold. Oh, yeah. Hello! Dark Brotherhood. Transport to Mornhold. Where is it? There we go. I fear I've been marked by the Dark Brotherhood and I wish to investigate. Uh, oh, goodness. Yes. Okay. It worked. Oh, God. Oh, so that's a error thingy. You know what I've never noticed? Oh, that's a table, by the way. That... What... Or what I never realized I don't know how to say it I hate how these actually have physical boundaries that shouldn't be a thing I can't access this chest now what if it has everything in the game in it hello okay this is the guy that's gonna transport us back but wow look at this place it is awesome cool um so yeah this is the best medium armor in the game right here I'm pretty sure uh, the guards are just wearing it. That's how crazy this place is. I actually want to show you the royal palace if I can find it. I don't know where it would be. But we might as well explore, you know, whatever. Here we go, the throne room. Oh, the king's not even in here. Well, this guy that would be sitting here. Let me just be an example. This guy. Not this guy, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> he is carrying the best ring in the game. It is actually like a broken ring. It is, it's, it's totally overpowered. Uh, but because of that, he's wearing it. He's getting the status effects from it. Um, so he's difficult to kill. Very difficult to kill. But he is killable. It's part of it. And that's his name, Hellseths. Hellseth. Um, so yeah. He's incredibly difficult to kill, but he is mortal. So he's possible to kill. All right, so can I find my way out of here, please? It's like a maze. Here we go. Hello. Um, all right. Can I just... Sweet. I can do that. So, um, I believe the two gods in the game are Vivek and... What the fuck? Is that a naked guy over there? That guy is legit naked. He just doesn't give a shit. He's streaking in, like, the most holy place in the game. All right. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine with me. It's actually quite funny. God's Reach. Is it here? Oh, this is the temple area. 
Now, in one of these areas, I want to show you the guy. Here, let me actually sleep for 24 hours. Alright. Where are you, dude? And I haven't been here in so long. I haven't been in this area since I played Marwin back in, like, 2006 or something. God, it was so long ago. Good times, good times. Temple Courtyard, would it be this? Oh yes, it is this area, okay. Yeah, there he is over there. We're not gonna talk to him. Actually, we can talk to him. Yeah, we can talk to him. Hello. This is the luckiest guy in the game. <laughs> okay, so he asks a small favor. I'm just gonna say no, because no matter what you give him in terms of gold, he will hate you. Um, so there's no point in the first place. Uh, it's obvious you're, you're a red guard of means. I imagine you wouldn't even know what the gold was gone. Da, da, da. No, I really don't think so. Haha, <laughs> quite. No, I'm not kidding. No, no, you don't say no to me. No one says no to the gay nord. <laughs> um, oh, don't think you'll forget this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this guy wants to fucking kill us now. Yeah. I'm going to give you a hint. I've probably already said it, actually, but uh, he's the most difficult NPC in the game to kill. And we'll find out one day why. But, um, yeah, until I am, like, way farther in the game, I am not going to touch him. He's a scary guy. But here we are, the Great Bazaar. This is the marketplace of, of Mournhold. And it looks very plain. I remember there being something good about the sky here, but whatever. I guess it's just cherry blossom trees all over the place. Um... Yeah, some of the best shops in the game are here. Can I please just jump over these? Holy crap. And this is also where the Dark Brotherhood of uh, Bardenfell work. So, not that they're here, but they actually are in the sewer system. There's like a fucking huge, intricate sewer system in this game. and Or this area, Mournhold. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Your table's missing, my friend. And that's really annoying. I hate it. Uh, you're listening. I don't care. Barter. Okay, wait. Not you. I want spells, right? Spells. There we go. Okay, so this person should have a fortification, among other things, for... No. What? Did I miss it? Short speed, personality, 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 personality is an attribute, never mind, that's not it. Which one is it? Okay, apparently, <laughs> apparently it's not here. Uh, let's not worry about that. Meanwhile, do you have anything here that's worth stealing? Hmm, no, I don't think so. Okay, there's other things to show you, luckily, but I really thought one of these people were supposed to have a spell that... Helps me out. Is that guy chanting? Or hooing? What the hell? Armory. Okay. Whoa. This guy just has, like, glass, you know, on his shelf. He doesn't give a shit. Or this chick, I mean. I knew you were a chick. Don't worry. Um. Yeah. Glass stuff. <sighs> okay. So, the person is not in here. For the, for the fortified thingy. That makes me really sad. It's actually in the place that we were first at. So, yeah. Why can I not get magic back? This is so freaking annoying. Why, am I walking again? I don't know. I can't tell. Whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So that guy <laughs> got pumped up. So... See, this is why you don't, um, that's, that's, yeah. You don't, honestly, I shouldn't have talked to the guy. Oh, God, he's fucking coming towards me. I'm not going to talk to him. Fuck that. I'm not even taking the chance, dude. If I talk to him, he might immediately, like, try to kill me, and that's, that's not good. Okay, we need to get to the Imperial Cult area. Imperial cult. Imperial cult. Where is it? Is it here? Aha! 
Was it you? Spells? Oh my god. Can I join? Can I join your Imperial cult? Shit. Spells? Haha, <laughs> you have it, thank you. Um, but do you have what I want? Haha, <laughs> yes, she does! Haha, <laughs> I said that so many times, but that's okay. Um, so Fortify Restoration, we can just get this, it doesn't matter. Any of them will work, and as you can see, we can go to spell making. And, uh, what should I name this? Super Alchemy. And Fortify Skill. Alchemy. 500 to 500 for two seconds. And, um, yeah, Super Potions, basically, is, is what we just achieved. Very Super Potions. To the point where we actually, they're going to be worth, like, a ridiculous amount. <sighs> This isn't an exploit, because it's part of the game. Like, it's in the game. Developers know this was a thing. This happens, or it can happen, I suppose. So I don't feel bad about it, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't want to use it to make potions that will make me inv uh, invincible, because it's very, very possible to do that. Uh, where's the person? I thought she was in here. The Argonian? Maybe she's downstairs? Move, please... Going, ha ha, there you are. Good, thank you. Uh, I would like to go back. Yes. Okay. Beds. Yes. Okay. I almost wish they, they based that off of the percent of money you have. Actually, no, that'd be really dumb. <laughs> but maybe 100 gold would be a little more balanced. I think that would be better. Door. I should say unlocked, right? Oh, whoops. Thank you. Ah, not as nice as the last one we stayed in, but, you know, can't, can't choose, I suppose. Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, let's see, what was it? Recall is what we want to find. There it is. Alrighty. Well, we got a little more gold than I expected, which is fine, I guess. Um, 140k. And I thought about it, and money isn't really ever something in Marwin that's difficult to get, and by no means is there a way of getting it that's efficient by just playing the game normally, so I don't feel bad about this, but I previously did. Uh, also, when doing alchemy, the only time I can use potions is when it's at um, not nothing above a 100, is I suppose what I should say. Uh, so, yeah. When I'm using potions, it has to be at whatever the alchemy's level is. I'm not going to use any sort of fortification in order to, you know, put the put it on steroids, so to say. And that's garage door. Okay, I believe the garage door has come down. It's gone back to its den. Uh, so here we go, enchanting. Um, actually, before I do that, persuasion. I'm actually going to make this person like me. There we go. This might make it, you know, quite a bit cheaper because it's percent based. Uh, okay. Here it is, the ring, the soul. Okay, so four to five is maximum self, okay. And we were going to call this... Actually, you know what? Hmm. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to call it Perseverance after the Dota 2 item, but maybe, maybe not. I think, uh, hmm. Damn it, I can't believe I'm thinking about this name again. It's so stupid. Ah, it's just a name and I'm not going to give a shit. Let's call it, um... The potion ring. I, that sounds really stupid, though. Ring of constant regen. I'm just going to call it ring of regen. Standard. And eventually we're going to get rid of this anyway. Of regen. Regeneration. Wait. Regeneration. Regener that doesn't look right. Why does it not look right? Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Fuck it. Bye. You have successful, yeah, successfully created an enchanted item. 
So by the way, in case you're wondering why enchanting, why would you want to level that skill up? Because it is in fact a skill. Um, you don't have to pay gold. You do all your encha enchanting yourself. You don't have to pay a hundred fucking K to these people, which by the way, if I could pickpocket the gold from you, I would, I might try it. Um, yeah, be scared. <laughs> but uh, the, the bad part about enchanting is it's so difficult, so, so difficult to have a guaranteed enchantment. Like that enchantment, I'd probably need fucking like 600 enchantment skill level. And that might not work even after that. Uh, so it's, yeah, I don't know. It's it's really risky, basically. Okay, restore health, four to five points. There we go. Um, and that will be added to our bar. Regeneration, five points. Uh, the thing about regeneration or uh, constant effect stuff is you can keep putting it on and off in order to get a higher level. Um, oh, what the hell? Unless they fixed that. Oh, they fixed it. Okay. It's random now. Wow. Okay, it used to be that um, you would put you would put something on and off until you get the max magnitude from it. And that was really lame. I hated that so much. Okay, uh, is there anything we can do? Can we... Ooh, perfect. <laughs> perfect timing. Let's take this and... Um, I said take, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Let's take this and I'm going to summon it. Just to get an idea of how good this is. Summon Skeleton. And I'm going to take my sword off. There we go. It should attack me now. If it could hit me. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. This was a terrible idea. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I can't use that. Let me travel. Let me travel somewhere. Okay, this... <laughs> that skeleton was fucking scary as hell, dude. Holy shit. You see how hard it fucking hit me? It hit me for like 100 points. <sighs> and he was wearing iron. It was iron. Anyways, you can see my health regening right now. <sighs> Jesus, a fucking skeleton. This is why... This is why I'm so scared to go on with the game, because if something criticals you, you are fucked, man. You are so fucked. Shit. That's why Sacrosy is... I, I don't feel bad about limiting myself, or having, you know, 50 Sacrosy later on, because normally I would, but something hitting me that hard is absolutely insane. Let's go fucking screw this guy over. Or are you piece of shit? Yeah, fuck you. Get one shot, bro. That's what you get for doing a ton of damage to me. Asshole. <laughs> Man, if I would have come in contact with something that had a Warhammer, like a Dejic Warhammer is going to one-shot me at any point in the game. No matter what. Like, there's, there's no way to look at it other than that. Oh, I have a level up, by the way. So I really need to watch out about that. Strength, intelligence, and agility. Yep, sounds good. Okay. Any Dark Brotherhood shenanigans? No, it doesn't look like it. 200 HP. Man, though. Holy crap. Um, I'm wondering if there's something... How interesting. If there's a Fortify Health skill. I wonder if one of these people have it. Slash, would strength be a better idea? Any fortification stuff? Okay, the Restoration Chick would probably be the one that had it. Hello. If it exists. Um, spells, fortify, that oh, doesn't look like it, I'm wondering if, um, wondering if it counts as an attribute, I'm gonna go look at that real quick, because if it does, that's really, really, oh, whoops, wait, what am I doing, what am I doing, what am I doing, holy shit, my brain just crashed, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, I was going to her to ch uh, check to see if it was on the thing. Attribute. Uh, no, it's not on here. So, Fortify Health is its own thing, then. Um, yeah, okay. So, I guess I'll have to look that up, maybe. Yeah. I'll be back in a sec. Well, I do not know if Fortify Health is better than Strength. Uh, what I'm really curious about is... Um, 
My, my endurance is max, right? Now, if I have that at 200 with, like, a set specifically made for having extra endurance for leveling, I'm wondering if I will get much more health out of it. Uh, I know after that skeleton almost one-shot us, um, <laughs> I want, I really want, I really, really want to uh, become more tanky, uh, which means we need a higher heavy armor skill. So, there are master trainers in this game, and we don't have a limit on money, so technically we could level every skill we have up to 100, right? Well, I can limit myself to 3. Why 3? I have no idea. That's just what I've decided on. I think that probably has most balance. That'll allow us to get our long blade to 100, our heavy armor to 100, and maybe another armor to 100, or perhaps something else. Not really sure. Uh, we're going to the wrong place. We're supposed to be in Vivek. Whoops. Hello. Cancel. Travel. Vivek. At least we're getting map locations, so though. That's nice. All right. Uh, so, yeah. So that is the deal with that. Uh, we need to find... Uh, we need to find the arena in Vivek. I've never actually tried to see if the arena in Vivek is actually an arena, like it, like it is in um, Oblivion. If it is, that's freaking awesome, and I really want to try it out later on. By the way, we need to start putting points into our luck. I think that's what I'm going to prioritize over strength. Because it doesn't look like strength gives you health for some reason. I don't know what's up with that, but... Uh, it's like starting health or something. I, I don't know, I'm confused about it, personally. Okay, this looks like the place it might be. Yeah, that's him right there. A high elf. Interesting. A high elf of, of like, every possible uh, race. It's a high elf. That is very, very interesting. Because high elves suck at everything, basically. Um... Okay, so this guy should be able to train my heavy armor to max level. The question is, where am I going to be able to rest in a bed? Yeah, I'm going to do this for a while. Alrighty, here we go. Level 17, oh my god. Yeah, Daedric weapons are going to start appearing, by the way, now. Which means heavy armor is pretty fucking important. Yeah, basically. Okay. Uh, let's put into luck. It's going to take forever to get up, but we need to get it up at some point. Agility might actually be better defensively. Uh, maybe that'll be my third skill, something that goes into agility. For now, I'm going to put into luck. Now we got to make our way back to the guy. Alrighty, another level up. For some reason, this time I didn't get a multiplier. That's really weird. I don't like that kind of... Sucks. Uh, luck, and we'll go agility. There we go. Level 19. We got a multiplier this time, but it wasn't that strong. I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe it works differently than I thought. That's probably the case. Agility and luck. Hooray. And again, no multiplier. That's too bad. Okay, uh... Well, we're not actually going to get another level out of this, which is kind of fine. Um, we are now, by the way, finding the max level mobs possible. Once we hit... well, actually no, we're level 20. We're finding max mobs. Uh, so that's it. Wait, what? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, it's 100. That makes no sense. So there we go, we have 64 armor. Uh, from all of that, we basically doubled our armor, which isn't bad, um, so we're going to be able to absorb a little more, especially since, I mean, we're wearing, like, really bad stuff, so that's, that's good, uh, if I could take this guy, I totally would, holy shit, you have stuff, do you do anything important? I don't think you do, you're a trainer, but, uh, I want to kill you so fucking badly, you know, we might try killing this guy in a second here, uh, first, I'm going to check to see if he's part of anything super important, because god damn, that armor is sexy. Whew. <sighs> okay, well, it's confirmed. This guy um, is not part of anything super important. Before we fight him, 
I am going to do a few things to take countermeasures. This is going to be the highlight of the episode. By the way, this is probably going to be in two parts as well due to the fact that I'm fucking stupid and didn't, you know, take note of the time. So, yeah. Uh, he has an ebony longsword, apparently. <clears throat> so, he can do 37 damage. Um, I believe the iron thingy that that skeleton had hit a maximum proc, hopefully. Hopefully. In terms of uh, these, whatever the damage was, which is 30 damage at maximum, I believe. Uh, so it shouldn't hit us terribly hard if it hits for a maximum, especially with our newfound armor and 240 life. Well, 260 life with Adrenaline Rush on. Uh, a full set of Ebony. Hmm. That's very difficult to kill. So we're going to have to make use of this guy. I don't know how many times this will work. Cast one strikes, paralyzes for 10 seconds. It might be a one-time deal. Uh, luckily, this guy's weak, weak to Magicka in general. I don't know if that's going to extend the time, but if it does, it's going to be really nice. Um, but if all goes wrong, we're going to be using a Ohm CV Innervation. Uh, we're just basically going to bring up a right-click menu, click it, and press F as soon as we possibly can. Hopefully, hopefully we won't die. I have no potions for health except for that one. I don't think that's good enough, though. Um, so we're just going to buff up like crazy after this guy, uh, hates us, which I don't, oh, why do you have to be near? Okay, so this is basically how you piss someone off enough to, for them to attack you. Mmm, yes, it's very, actually there's a thing you can do for this in the PC version at least. You can shrink this down. Oh, whoops, persuasion, taunt. And now it's on an auto left clicky thing. I remember when I found this, I was so happy. <laughs> so you just do this for a very long period of time and eventually he will attack you. Eventually. Perhaps I will end yours. I believe you have to get that three times in a row for him to actually kill you. And it will give me a goodbye message so we'll be ready when the time comes. There we go. Okay, boys and girls. Yeah, you heard that. That was me cracking my body parts. <laughs> okay, he hasn't noticed us yet. Uh, or he hasn't done his thing yet. Okay, so I think he will have to attack us first. Let's get this. Okay, that's casted. He hits really hard. All right. Oh my God! Why do you have to get in the way, Ordinator? Okay. How many charges does this have? It has four. That's good. You're fucking idiot! Shit! Get over here. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that out of charges? It is. Okay, so now it's just me and him. Ooh. I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna pre-equip a restore health potion, actually. We've done it! Dun 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 dun! Yes! Oh, get wrecked, son! Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> this just became so much easier. So hot, man. Jesus. And your ebony long sword. Thank you, sir. You are gonna make this a million times easier. They are rated for 200 armor rating. Holy shit, I'm so happy. All right, let's suit up, boys. Holy shit. This is great. If only he had a helm. Oh, I already have that on. Okay, this one has better durability. Oh, they have the same. Whatever. 162 armor. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. It, it's... Oh yeah, it's the helmet. It's the helmet that's missing out. Okay. I was wondering, because like, if it says 200 and I have all of that as 200, it should give us more. But dude, we just like... Doubled our armor again. More than doubled our armor again. Holy shit. Wow. 
All right. Dude, Adrenaline Rush is so overpowered. I can't even believe it. It is so nuts. Ah, good stuff. Okay, let's take a look. I really want to get rid of this helmet. It looks so lame. And uh, that'll probably lead us into next episode. Next episode, I think we're going to go do some of the quests for the Fighters Guild again. And we are going to get to the point where, hopefully, we're going to get to the point where we can get the helmet for this set. Which is going to look amazing. I just, I can't wait. And then we can move on from there to Daedric, which is going to be great. Uh, we just need to find a Daedric Tower Shield. We're going to be able to enchant that with a lot of Saccharacy. Something like 40% of what we need. And then we will put the rest of our Saccharacy on a belt. Man, I'm getting so excited! I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Morrowind. I'm getting excited about a game that's old as hell. I'm over encumbered because I have so much shit in my inventory. Uh... <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. And it's going to be a good time, guys. It's going to be a really good time. Mm. Mm.